Good morning, Titans. Today is Wednesday, February 7th, 2024. Please, please rise to, for the singing of O Canada. Good morning, Titans. Today's prayer can be used for many things. For me, I use it as a reflection on what can be done and what cannot be done. This is a good prayer for us as students as well. We have just finished a, new, a semester and we cannot change what we have done in that semester. But we can cha change our ways and prepare ourselves better for this new semester. This prayer is called the Serenity Prayer. Some people know this and some don't, and that is fine. At the end of the prayer, I'm going to be saying some intentions, and you're welcome to join and say your own. So if you can please join me in the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. My prayer intention for us today is that we welcome this new semester in a positive way and with open arms. I have a personal intention that we pray for this, the world and what's going on right now, and we pray for peace. I also welcome uh, at this time for a moment of silence for your own personal intentions. All other intentions that lie silent in our hearts, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's Black Brilliance info is, is about Black Canadian roots. Black people in Canada have diverse backgrounds and experiences, while some can trace their roots in Canada for many generations. Others have recently arrived in Canada. Black newcomers are now from approximately 125 different countries, Jamaica, Haiti, and the main countries of birth for black immigrants in Canada. Black Canadians country continue to contribute to the growth, diversity, and development for our country. Are you interested in running the University of Waterloo math contest? Sign up by Friday with your current math teacher or see Mr. Hawk at lunchroom at 260. All books from semester one should be returned to the library. Put books in the slot labeled books return to the left inside the library doors. If you do not return a book or book is returned so damaged that is cannot put back on the shelf, you, ha you will have to pay for the book so that it can be replaced. If you lost an Apple Air tag within the last few weeks, please come to the main office. That's all for me, Titans. Now on to the Student Council. Good morning, Titans. It's Adi and Adam here from Student Council. And we are here to briefly talk about our February Spirit Week, which is going to occur 
on the Monday that's coming up right now, so which is the 12th of February. And here's what the rundown for it looks like so far. HDTV will announce a trivia question for every day of the week. The theme for the question is St. Valentine's Day. There will only be one answer per class, and the answer paper must include the answer, the homeroom, the answer is form, and the grade level of the class. Please keep in mind that the points will not be affected by who hands their answers in first, so all classes have a homeroom classes have a fair advantage. Homeroom teachers are asked to send a student down to the attendance office with their answers. On Monday, student council will be hosting musical chairs on the stage at lunch and will be taking volunteers at the lunch and it will be a grade level competition. On Tuesday, student council will host a Valentine's Jeopardy on the stage at lunch. Volunteers for this event will be picked beforehand and on a first come first serve basis. If you want to try your hand at it, reach out to a student council member uh, you know or contact either one of us. We are looking for three volunteers from each grade. So feel free to sign your friends up along with yourself. One final thing before we switch back over here is um, on the Tuesday we also have a dress up day in which you can dress up in uh, any piece of clothing that's pink, red or white that also follows the school guidelines. And it has to be pink, red or white and if it's not it has to be a uniform part. If you are dressed down or dressed up in one of those three colors, then you're also free to wear any color shoes you'd like. Now over to Ms. Williams. That's all from us Titans. Good morning, Titans. Uh, just before I do the admin announcements, I just want to give you the calf specials today. Uh, spaghetti and meatballs with garlic bread for $6.75. Vegetable beef and barley soup for $3.85. Turkey club wrap for $6.25. A roast beef sub or a ham and Swiss sub for $6.75. Donuts are available for $2.75, and Valentine's Guest starts today in the CAF. Just a couple of quick uh, admin announcements. Yesterday during lunch, you may have seen that the Turkey Point Marina was here looking uh, to get some applications for summer jobs. I just wanted to remind you that in guidance, there is a job board, and in February, jobs start coming in for summer jobs, so please be checking the job board regularly if you're looking for a summer job. If you are interested in the Turkey Point uh, Marina, I do have applications in my office. A reminder to make sure you are in your proper locker by the end of the week, and that you have a lock, and it is locked. If you, are not, if you do not have your locker locked, there will be a lock placed on it at the end of the week. Uh, just a reminder to make sure during lunchtime, if you want to keep all the bathrooms open, that behavior in there, you're not hanging out in there. Um, by respecting that space, it will mean that you have access to that space all during the day. And also, any grade 12 who is looking to return to Holy Trinity in September, there will be a meeting today during period two. There will be an announcement letting you know when to come down for that meeting. So if you have uh, any friends who have a period two spare and might not be hearing that announcement this morning, please let them know that if they want to return, they have to be present for that meeting today. And that's all from us. Have a great day, Titans.